In question three, we need to read the transactions below and complete the accounting equations. And these are the transactions. Transaction number one says we bought stationary. So that is one account that is affected. That's what we are buying. So we have more of stationary. And remember, stationary is an expense. So the fact that we have more stationary, we are going to David stationary. Which other account will be affected? Question is, how did we buy that stationery? We bought it using via internet banking. So bank is affected. Bank will be decreasing, but because bank is an asset, it decreases on the credit side. We will debit stationary, which is an expense, and credit bank because our bank account is decreasing. There's an outflow of cash, and all assets decrease on the credit side. This current asset of ours, which is bank, will decrease on the credit side. And the assets will have minus 23,500 because our bank account is decreasing. There was money that left our bank account. And stationary is an expense, and expenses reduce owner's equity. That is why under owner's equity, we will have minus 23,500. Liabilities, these are people that we owe. It's either we got loans from them or we bought on credit from them. In this case, we didn't buy on credit from anybody. That's why under liabilities, we have zero. Number two, received a loan. So that's one account that is being affected. But know that we received it. We are not paying. We are receiving the loan. And this loan, um, a loan amount of 200000 from NetBank. Now note that when we receive the loan, it means we are receiving money. So we received money worth 300000 and when we receive such money, we should be happy because it means more money is going into our bank account. So we've got a cash inflow into our bank account of 200,000. But that is for a loan. A loan means that we receive this loan from Nerd Bank. We got the money. Bank is increasing. But at the same time, we are going to owe Nerd Bank that amount because they are loaning us that amount. Therefore, liabilities are affected. Bank is an asset, and since it's an asset, it will increase on the debit side because we're getting more money. A loan is a liability. When we get more liabilities, they increase on the credit side. And the asset, we will have plus 200,000. Owner's equity is not affected because none of the four are affected. Remember the side, C4, capital, income, drawings, and expenses. This has nothing to do with those four. Therefore, under owner's equity, we've got zero. Under liabilities, we are owing Nerd Bank 200000 so we owe more. The more we owe people, the more liabilities we've got. That's why we're adding 200000 and the liabilities. On the third, well, transaction number three, we received 9% commission income. So we know that one account that is affected is commission income. The fact that we received it means we are getting more money from commission income. So bank and commission income will be the two accounts that are affected, but that commission income will be calculated at 9% on sales. So you're going to take the sales amount of 300,000 and multiply it by 9%, and that will give you a commission income of 27,000. We're getting 27,000 more into our bank account, but at the same time, we are, we are getting income, which is commission income. So assets will be affected because bank will be increasing and bank increases on the debit side because it's a current asset. Commission income, it's income. Income increases on the credit side. Remember, silk and dead. 
SELC stands for Capital Income Liabilities Increase on the Credit Side. Then that stands for Drawings, Expenses and Assets Increase on the Debit Side. Do not forget that. So obviously asset is bank in this case, it'll increase on the debit side by 27,000. Income increases owner's equity. That's why under owner's equity, we've got 27,000. And under liabilities, we have zero. All right, moving right along. Number four, we repaid. Now, when we repaid means money is going out. So already here, bank is decreasing. So we are going to credit bank because it's decreasing. And who are we repaying? We are repaying a loan from Nerd Bank by EFT. So bank is decreasing. A loan is also decreasing. But remember, loan falls under liabilities, SILG. Capital income liabilities on the credit. So liabilities increase on the credit, but in this case, they're not increasing, they are decreasing because we are owing less. We are going to owe less, 150,000 less, not more, but less. So we are reducing our liability. If liabilities increase on the credit side, when they decrease, they should decrease on the debit side, on the opposite side. So we are going to debit loan from Nerd Bank and Credit Bank, which is our asset because money is going out. Uh, now it's, it'll make me start from scratch. So that's why we are going to debit loan from Nerd Bank and Credit Bank, which is our asset because money is going out and the asset will have minus 150,000. Owner's equity is not affected, I repeat again. Capital, income, drawings, expenses, not affected. Therefore, under owner's equity, we've got zero. Under liabilities, we will have minus 150,000 because our liability is going down. We repaid the liability, a loan from Nerd Bank. And by now you realize now we are owing Nerd Bank only 50,000, right? Because we paid them 150,000, right? This is just the opposite of transaction number two. All right, let's go to transaction number five. The owner contributed. I always fight with my kids about this because the owner contributed. Now, this is why I always fight with them. I'll just show you shortly why. Um, the owner contributed. The owner contributed. I want to open this slide. Bear in mind, the owner contributed. So accounting is like a chain. Everything comes together. It holds together. Okay. And one important thing that I emphasize to my kids is know your definitions. Know your definitions. Obviously, I always include definitions in my tests which is key, know your definitions, because I've already explained this. Okay, now, what is owner's contribution? Already I've done this, remember? I've done this with them long, long time ago. Now I'm just revisiting it. What is owner's contribution? It is capital. So I said to them, capital R, contributions to the business by the owners of the business. Capital is contributions to the business by the owners of the business. That's what it is. So the owner can contribute cash, assets, or their skills to the business. So contribution by the owner. So basically, I'm giving you the definition. I'm asking you, what is it? What are contributions by the owner to the business? It is capital. That's what it is, okay? So we know that in that transaction, capital is affected, okay? But what did the owner contribute? Let me go back to that transaction. What did the owner contribute? The owner contributed land and buildings. And guess what? When you check 
on page seven land and buildings fall under non-current assets so the business remember when you prepare financial statements or any transactions you are always preparing them on behalf of the business okay not the owner but the business the business is getting more land and building the business is getting more land and buildings from who from the owner you don't care about the owner losing whatever, but the business is gaining more land and buildings. When we gain more assets, that asset will increase on the debit side. Now, for those that just want to pass, I'll just give you a short um, way to remember this. Your credit, when the, whenever the owner contributed anything, your credit capital and your debit, whatever they contributed. That is, if you just want to pass and you don't want to know anything about accounting. So whenever they tell you that the owner contributed something, you credit capital and you debit whatever the owner contributed. Now, the owner contributed what in this case? Land and buildings. So what am I going to do? Credit capital, debit land and buildings. What if the owner contributes vehicles? Credit capital, debit vehicles. What if the owner contributes stationery? Credit capital, debit stationery. What if the owner contributes consumables? Credit capital, debit consumables. So you credit whatever the owner is contributing, you debit whatever, um, you credit capital and you debit whatever the owner is contributing. You credit capital and you debit whatever the owner is contributing. What if the owner contributes cash into the business? You credit capital and debit bank. Easy. However, if you want to understand what is going on, obviously you will just say the owner contributed, so you credit capital because capital increases owner's equity. What did the owner contribute? Land and building. So we're getting more of that. That's why we debit it. Okay, that is it. You want to do accounting next year, and it's all about understanding the concepts. So we're getting more land and buildings, which is an asset. Assets increases on their debit side. Why did it increase? It's because it was contributed by the owner. And anything that is contributed by the owner is capital. Anything contributed by the owner to the business is capital. So land and buildings will increase by that 1,350,000. And capital increases owner's equity. And I've been singing this for so many times. Owner's equity, there are four things that fall under owner's equity. It is capital, income, drawings, and expenses. Two of those increases owner's equity, which is capital and income. Two of those reduces owner's equity, which is the other DE, which stands for drawings and expenses. So capital increases owner's equity. That's why we've got 1,350,000 in under liabilities. We've got zero because we are not owing anybody. Remember, liabilities are only affected when we start owing somebody. We are not owing anybody. That's why under liabilities, we've got zero. Okay. Now, here is number six. The owner took stationery worth 45000 We don't care about taking part. Okay. But we know that stationery is affected. But we want to know why did the owner take stationery? And you realize that here it is for personal use. When the owner takes anything from the business for personal use, what do we call that? Which account is that? When the owner takes anything for personal use from the business, which account is that? And then it takes you back to the definitions that I explained when we started accounting. And that's why I said these will always come out. These are the real definitions. They'll always come out. Whether you're doing accounting grade 10, whether you do it at diversity, they will always come out. It's better for you to understand them now because this is a transaction between the owner and the business. Anything that happens between the owner and the business, we need to account for it. And whenever the owner takes anything, anything from the business or personal use, or private use, it is called drawings. Drawings are simply distributions from the business to the owners of the business. So it can be cash or assets or expenses. And I made it easy by saying 
any item taken by the owner for personal use, personal use will be regarded as drawing. Any item taken by the owner for personal use will be regarded as drawings. What did the owner take in our transaction? The owner took stationery for what? For personal use. So what is that? Drawings. And whenever the owner takes anything from the business for personal use. Now, this is for those that just want to pass accounting. You always gave it drawings. Whenever the owner takes anything from the business for personal use, drawings. Okay. Later on, when you get to grade 12, you realize that whenever the owner takes money from the business, we call it drawings, but in grade 12, it's normally referred to as dividends. Okay. So dividends will be debited because the owner is taking money from the business and we credit whatever the owner takes. If we declare dividends and we didn't pay them, we credit shareholders for dividends, which is a current liability because we've declared those dividends, we owe the owner that. Okay. For now, that is not important. That is probably boring to you. So we debit drawings whenever the owner takes anything from the business. And this is how easy it is. You credit whatever the owner takes. That's it. When the owner takes from the business, David drawings, credit whatever the owner takes. Now, if you want to understand accounting, you'll say we debit drawings because drawings reduce owner's equity and anything that decreases owner's equity increases on the debit side. We credit stationary because stationary is an expense, so expenses increase on the debit side, but in this case, it's decreasing. So expenses will decrease on the credit side because it was taken by the owner. It's not an expense. An expense must be used for the business. In this case, it was taken by the owner. It's not an expense. It's not drawings. So we are taking it out of this the expense account, which is stationary. We are putting it into drawings, which tells us how much the business is, how much the owner is taking from the business or how much the business has distributed to the owner. Okay. None of these are assets. So basically, um, okay, that is incorrect right there. None of these are assets. Okay. Both of them will fall under owner's equity. Therefore, under assets will have zero. Both of them fall under owner's equity. Remember, owner's equity is increased by Capital and income is decreased by drawings and expenses. Drawings will decrease owner's equity in this case. But here, our expenses are not increasing. Instead, they're decreasing. A decrease in expenses increases owner's equity. So under owner's equity, we'll have plus minus. Now, for those that just want to pass accounting, the owner takes anything from the business, any expense from the business, you will have plus minus under owner's equity. However, if the owner took an asset from the business, you only have minus under owner's equity and the other minus will be under the asset. So if the owner takes an expense, you'll have plus minus under owner's equity. Okay. The plus is the fact that your expense, which decreases owner's equity, in this case, it is increasing owner's equity because your expense is going down, it's decreasing. A reduction of your expense increases owner's equity. Reduction of your expense increases owner's equity. That's the plus for stationary because stationary is decreasing. It's an expense. It decreases on the credit side. Therefore, a decrease of your expense will increase owner's equity. The minus is the usual one. Drawings reduce owner's equity. We don't owe anybody here, so liabilities are not affected. Remember what I've just said. Okay. Let's go to the next transaction. It says, number seven, the owner's daughter took trading stock. So the owner's daughter took trading stock for personal use. Even though the owner's daughter took trading stock for personal use, we don't know who the owner's daughter is. The only person that we know is the owner. So if the daughter takes trading stock, they are taking it on behalf of their parent, who is the owner, meaning that this trading stock is taken as though it was for the owner's personal use. 
Anything for the owner's personal use taken from the business is drawings, you debit, drawings, you credit, whatever the owner took. In this case, the owner took trading stock. So we are going to debit drawings and credit trading stock. Trading stock is an asset. Therefore, your asset will decrease by 3,400 drawings as usual, decrease owner's equity. Liabilities are not affected. That's why they're equal to zero. All right. The next one, the business provided services. Now highlight provided services. The business provided services worth 8,900 to engine. When you provide services, you earn what we call current income. So current income will increase on the credit side because it's income. So we earned income because we provided a service worth 8,900 to engine. In exchange, engine gave the entity fuel. Now, fuel, it's petrol, which is an expense. So instead of getting money, we incurred an expense worth 8,900. So we debit an expense, which is fuel or petrol, and we credit current income because we have earned that income. Okay. Now, here we are going to debit fuel because it's an expense. We are going to credit service income or current income. You will get a mark for any of those under. Assets will have zero because both of them don't fall under assets. Both of them, fuel is an expense. Service income, it's income. Obviously, it tells you that it's income. That's why we credited it. So it, income will be a plus under owner's equity. And fuel is an expense. It will be a minus under owner's equity. And under liabilities, we've got zero. Then you just total it up. Please know that the total of owner's equity represents the net worth of the business, which is 1305000 100. Okay. Um, in the next video, we will simply be doing this question. Try it out. You're just preparing the cash receipts journal. You post to the ledger and then prepare the trial balance.